Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles, and I welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Bro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things, and I will see them. As all of you know, or as a decent amount of you know, we recently did a video over the weekend uh, that addressed the comments that were made about Skip Bayless. And as y'all know, Russell Westbrook has been a major, major punchline all season long uh, with NBA fans and the media. We all know this. Ever since Russell Westbrook was acquired last season, uh, last season by the Lakers, we thought he was supposed to be the final piece to that championship puzzle, right? He was supposed to be the big three, one of the big three. You had Anthony Davis, you had LeBron James. LeBron James, by the way, who had a hell of a performance, I might add. I believe it was on Saturday against the Golden State Warriors. This guy scored 56 points. That was really impressive. To score 56 points, he was hot. He was hitting shots. He out -dueled. Uh, Stephen Curry. So big up to LeBron James. That was a hell of a that was a hell of a performance. Hopefully those guys can keep it up because um, we want to see if that was just a flash in the pan or if it's something that we they, they, that we can actually start talking about if they can put a winning streak together. But nevertheless, uh, Russell Westbrook was supposed to be the the, this, the part of this whole championship puzzle, and it's no secret uh, that it's been a total disappointment, especially after sixty plus games. If you just go look at Russell Westbrook's numbers, I quickly I would just quickly go over them at a glance. He hasn't lived up the billing. He's averaging 18 points per game, which is fine. He's shooting 43% from the field, which is not really great, but that's essentially what he shot last season. Three-point shooting percentage is down to 28.4%. That's not good at all. He's shooting 60, 67% uh, from the free throw line, and he's averaging four turnovers a game, which is, uh, incidentally, uh, coincidentally, actually, that's lower than he averaged last season. His turnovers are down from 4.8 to 4.0. So I don't really know what to say uh, about that. And we all know that no one, has chronicled and highlighted or covered all of the lowlights of Russell Westbrook more than Skip Bayless this year on Undisputed. No one has covered it more uh, 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 than Skip Bayless to the point where it got to a point where Skip Bayless actually started to put together blooper reels of uh, on a daily basis of Russell Westbrook's lowlights, by the way, which I thought were absolutely hilarious everybody thought they were funny skip ellis thought it was funny shannon sharp definitely and shannon sharp's reaction was like skip what is that like what that that is hilarious right to me that was uh, uh pure uh, pure comedy so to me i thought that that was totally fine right because russell westbrook because when russell westbrook was averaging those triple doubles and he was tearing it up in the league there were highlights of him all over the place so it's only fair that when you're not performing well Someone highlights it. Now, does Skip Bayless turn it into a comedy skit? Sure, but, you know, they're doing it for TV. Now, it seems as if, however, that there was one person that didn't like the fact that, apart from the fact that he was doing those lowlights, he was also making fun of Russell Westbrook's last name by calling him Russell, calling him Russell Westbrook. And there was one person that took exception to that on Twitter, which was uh, Russell Westbrook's wife, who actually left these comments on March 4th that I'm quickly going to read quickly. She said, I'm tired of you, uh, Real Skip Bayless, calling my husband out of his name. It is extremely childish. That is my that is my name as well. And many, and many other people's names, you're disrespectful, and I'm extremely offended by your behavior, and you should apologize. So that's what Russell Westbrook's wife had to say about skip bayless and she even went as far as saying that skip bayless blocked her on twitter that's what she said right then what happened skip bayless himself he finally had his response which he put out yesterday so i'm going to quickly read you what skip bayless had to say he said dear mrs uh, mrs westbrook thank you for clarifying that i didn't block you i never blocked anyone and never will i welcome your criticism and i appreciate your defending your husband but i will continue to tell the truth as I see it. Now, here is my response to all of this. When this story originally broke, I said, if you go back and look at the video that we published, and we may link it at the end of this video, I said that I didn't think that Skip Bayless was going to give an, uh, give an apology. I didn't think he was going to apologize. I said it in that video. However, I think there's a major wrinkle or nuance here that's not being discussed in all this because a lot of people have their takes on this i think skip and nina westbrook are arguing two different points in my personal opinion based on some of the things that i was able to ascertain from this from, from this back and forth here i think her issue is not with the criticism that he's levying at her husband 
although I'm sure she doesn't like it. But I don't think that's her real issue. I think her issue is the fact that he is making fun of her last name. I think that is at the heart of what her issue is. Now, I think Skip Bayless, on the other hand, I think his issue is this. He wants to be able to say whatever he feels about a particular situation based on how he's seen. So he doesn't want to have a muzzle put on him. He feels as if, listen, this is my job. As he said, I have to do my job. I feel like Skip Bayless feels that he should have the right to express himself however he sees fit. And if it means calling him Russell Westbrook, Brick, uh, rather, then so be it. Right. I think there I think Skip Bayless is arguing I should have my right to say whatever I want to say, because I think he's saying it that, she, that she's saying stop criticizing my husband. Well, I don't think she's saying stop criticizing my husband. I think she's saying stop making fun of his last name. I think there lies, uh, you know, there, there, uh, there, there, there lies the nuance. Now, quickly, let me just quickly say this. I think there are two schools of thought on this particular issue here. There are two schools. Some will say. What's Russell Westbrook? Because some people have left this comment on our channel. So I'm just I'm kind of repeating some of the things that I that I read. Some will say Russell, Russell Westbrook should be able to take it on the chin because this is part of the territory. If you want to be a professional basketball player, professional athlete, and a public figure, and you want to make tens of millions of dollars a year, and Russell Westbrook is slated to make $47 million, close to $50 million last year, then this is what comes with it. You should expect people to make fun of you and call you out your name from time to time. Because those same people said, when you were doing well, people were praising you and we didn't hear you complaining. That's one school of thought uh, out there. Some people also say, Skip is being too disrespectful and his wife has the right to defend her husband. I read through some of the comments. And some people were saying, wait a minute, are you telling me that his wife shouldn't defend, uh, uh, Russell Westbrook's wife shouldn't be able to stand up for, for her husband? Now, if those are some men, read, uh, the majority of our audience, 90%, 90 plus percent of the views on our channel are men. So I'm pretty sure that if somebody was calling you out of your name, I don't think you would be offended if your wife kind of stood up for you or took you, not go fight your battles for you, but I'm sure you'd be pretty happy if your wife defended you, I think every man would want that. Like who wouldn't want their wife to support them and defend them? Like who wouldn't want that? You, in fact, you'd be looking at her like, damn, like <laughs> what's this woman doing? Like she's not even saying anything. She's just, she's just uh, totally, uh, totally quiet. And let me just say this. Those viewpoints are totally valid, right? If you feel the first, uh, like the first group of people, that is valid. If you feel like the second batch of people, that is totally valid. valid. My position is this. You can criticize a player as much as you want as long as you don't flat out disrespect the guy and start making up things about that person. That's my that's my position. I'm not here to police people. I'm not here to tell people what to say. It's not my job. Nor do I have the nor do I have the credit credit credibility to do something like that. Who am I? I'm just a person here giving you guys uh, my, my thoughts and opinions. That's just my position. So really, the question is this. The question is this. Who do you feel is in the right here? This is really up to the audience, really. This is up to you guys. Who's in the right? Do you think Skip Bella should apologize or he should continue doing his job? Do you think Nina uh, Westbrook was out of line or do you think she had the right to defend her husband? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we definitely catch you guys on the next episode.